the objective of the network is really try to invent uh, paper strips that can be used for any kind of diagnostic purpose. For example, the detection of pathogens. Look at the pH paper. It's really um, you know, fantastic. Can we actually take advantage of uh, 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 that uh, test? And if we actually can uh, reinvent that device for the application, for example, for the detection of bacteria, that would be fantastic because everybody uh, would be able to using that technology. So we wanted to develop something that's very easy to use. And one of the first things that came to our minds is, you know, going back to grade four science, we have this beautiful contrasting colors of you know, bright yellow, red, and this piece of paper, the litmus test. So we asked, can we use some old technology such as that and apply it to something more modern and make a kit that everyone can use? And so that was the initial mindset that we wanted to go forward with. And so that is what we have currently designed to test very complex mixtures such as pathogenic bacteria and convert that into a very easily detectable signal using simply our eyes. We know how uh, pH paper works, which is responsive to the change of pH. So if you have pH 5, you'll have one color. If you have a pH 9, you'll have a different color. So and for us to do then is really to create a link for, let's say, if I'm interested in detect uh, E. coli, so we just create a link of E. coli to the change of a pH. That's actually what we did. So this is just standard pH paper that you would uh, use in uh, uh, a small or high school lab science. Um, it should also turn color. So this is uh, in the presence of E. coli. It should turn this dark blue color. And it should remain yellow if, uh, if there's nothing there. We're, we're so excited. Uh, this is just, at the moment, a proof of concept. But in our lab, we have so many probes for many other pathogens. And I just can't wait to apply all those probes and put it on our universal sensor so that we can go and enter other markets, such as genetic testing or test other infectious diseases.